hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to decent stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you this is my hook and eye for the skirts i'm going to pass my thread first i've decided to go with four thread so i passed two threads through the needle so everything is now four two two so i'm going to knot it at the end there you know how to knot hmm? oh, as long as you tie the mouth so this is i put it around this finger then the shorter one which is this one i pass it through it i can pass it through it twice for a stronger knot now i have four threads I'll open the zip so that it's easy for me to fix. Which one should I fix? To fix this second part, I will fix it where the zip is. Except when you want to adjust it in the future, then you move it again. But for this uh, first time, and because this is the exact size that you need, it's not tight. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it where I have the teeth of the zip. So for this, I can go ahead and pass the thread from underneath. If the thread is showing underneath, it doesn't mean it's inside. But for this one that will overlap, the thread should not show on the outside. So the way I will tack this will be different from I will tack this so with this I can pass the needle through to the back then if you are using two inches band if your band is two inches you are going to use two of this one down one up because just one cannot hold it well because the band is very big but because this is like just one inch so I'm using just one I've gone in from the inside. Now I'm coming out by the side. Then I'll go back inside. From under, I'll come out from the side, not from the inside again. By the side, I'll come out again. Then go inside. I'm trying to create a loop around this place to hold it for me so i can shift to the side a bit to create a loop by the side then take it inside the circle a bit the hole So it's strong enough now. I'll repeat the same thing on this side. So from the back, I'll move to where the hole is at the top here. Or either through the hole or outside, either of them. But right now it's through the hole. So at the back, I'll have this line at the back. Then I'll continue. I'll repeat the same thing I did here. I'll repeat it here.
now I'm done so at the end here I'll just this is the way I tie my things after using needle so I just pass it through the thread or the fabric then I pick this one up here if you pick this one down here at the eye of the needle and you use it to knot it can tangle I've come to notice that whenever I use that part so it tangles easily so I pick the one up here and roll it twice and raise the needle so it forms a knot so I do that twice to secure it properly I roll it twice raise it forms a knot I pull it tight then cut my thread this is the back this is the front I'm going to tie my knot again I'll pass it through my finger again then the short one I'll pass it through the loop you can pass it once and pull it or you pass it twice to make it stronger then you pull it out it forms a knot so for this one I'll just try to cross check and be sure it's well placed okay I think I'll zip it up first then confirm that it will be okay so it should be okay yeah. then if you like before you start you can use chalk you can put the two together before you start putting the hook you just use chalk you mark here and mark here so you are sure they are the same points so now i'm going to fix this let's put it back so like i said your thread is not supposed to show at the end here so you won't pass your thread through the way we did this one you pick it this way And this is one of the reasons I use strong stay so that when I'm doing this, it has something to hold on to. So you just keep doing it from outside and through the hole, then you bring it out. You do it multiple times till you feel it's strong enough. When you are done with that, to move to the other side, you go in through the band to the other side. You bring it out. Either outside or through the hole is fine. You bring it this way. And you make sure nothing is still showing at the back. So I'll go ahead and tie this down again. When you feel it's strong enough you have to make sure it's strong so when you're done you move to the other side through the band then i'll do this final one and tie my knot and be tied the thread So this is strong enough to tie my thread I'll just pass it through the previous loop I have made and roll this twice pull the needle up form the knot I'll do it once again roll this twice and pull then pull it a bit like this and cut So we have our hook and eye ready. This is the 
back of the skirt so in case you need to adjust you need to move it you just remove this and move it this is the front of the skirt thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly like share comment subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell thank you